Hey everybody, welcome to day six of our 90 day challenge and six days, almost a week. Almost. Tomorrow will be a week. Anyway, uh, today was a Monday. It was a typical Monday, meaning the day after Sunday. Mm -hmm. But uh, we thought that we would talk about community today. So yesterday we talked a little bit about capturing our thoughts. The day before that was... Uh, chaos. Was that the chaos day or Friday was the chaos day? Friday was the chaos day. Saturday was making memory with families. Yeah. So, community, if there's one thing that makes really any family work, whether you're blended or not, is community. Having people that are invested in you and your family and that you are invested in. Um, we've been fortunate over the last, uh, gosh, maybe five or six years, had good community uh, made a choice at one point that we were going to to have community we were going to have people that were involved uh, with us uh, started out going to pizza after church on sunday night and then we decided hey we can feed everybody in the group for what it costs to just feed our family. And so we started having people into our home on Sunday nights. And that was really sort of the beginning, right? Well, that was probably six or seven years ago. That was um, before we hit our crisis in our marriage. Because we had done it for a year or two before that. And now mm -hmm. we're at five years past that. So, yeah. But that was the point we to feed our seven people at a restaurant, we mm -hmm. could feed 40 people in our house. Well, not quite 40, but the original group that was there, we could feed for the same amount. Now, it had several times has blossomed up to 40-ish. Yeah. So. And it's not just about, you know, having people in your house. It's about having people pour into you and then having people to pour into. Mm hmm and I think that that was a turning point for us, really, um, whenever we started realizing that there was more that we were supposed to be doing than just eating. That was about the time that um, we were coming out of our crisis, that God had really revealed to us that that's what we needed to do, was to not just feed people, but feed them spiritually. Mm -hmm. And this thing has taken on several different versions over the years. Mm -hmm. It's just sort of morphed. It did originally start out just as dinner and people hanging out. Uh, and it grew. It got very large, like we said, roughly 40, sometimes 50 people on a Sunday night. Um, and then it shrunk. Shrunk down to, uh, I don't know, maybe six. And then it began to change and there was there was more to it for us than just having dinner um, we began to challenge the couples that were there we mm -hmm. had different studies we did circle maker yeah uh, we did sun stand still mm -hmm. um, did another one from Robert Morris I can't remember the name it was about tithing though yeah and given the first of what you get uh, back to the Lord um, We've done, I declare war. Yeah. But the idea being that we grow stronger whenever we uh, invest in people, when we get to know people on a deeper level. And usually, whenever you get into studies like that, you get to know people. They, through discussion about the text or whatever, tend to, tend to let you in. Um, so. Well, and I think it's important that you know to just step out and do it because the enemy wants you to be isolated. He wants you to feel like there's no hope. And living in a house that years ago had white carpet, why, I don't know, but had white carpet. We have five kids and at the time two dogs on the white carpet. It's very easy as a woman to not want to open up your house because... 
the carpet stained or it's just something you don't want people coming in and judging you for. And I think that God really worked on me through some of my friends whenever they said, you know, that's something that they admired is that not that our house is ever horribly dirty, um, but that we aren't freaking out. We still open up and don't seem to be worrying. Are we being judged? Is that the right way to say that? It's being open, real. Yeah. There's not very many people that you'll find that, that will be real with you without taking the time to invest, without taking the time to really get to know one another. Uh, so many people know their acquaintances and their friends on a surface level. Rarely do you find people that are willing to uh, open up and expose the innermost part of their fears, of their triumphs. Um, we've been fortunate enough to have some friends that have done that with us lately and that we've been able to be open with. Yeah. Uh, I'm an open book. I, I'll say about anything. Because one thing I have learned over the last four or five years is that we're all going through the same basic struggles. Uh, everybody feels like I'm the only one that's experiencing this or our marriage is the only one that's like this or our kids are the only ones that are dealing with this. And that's really not true. Um, even if you look back through the Bible, you can go all the way back through the Old Testament. New Testament doesn't matter. People experience the same things over mm -hmm. and over and over again. So community gives you a place to be real, to find somebody that will go through that battle with you. Yep. So. Because until you find that community and you are real, the enemy has a stronghold on your thoughts. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, like. Pastor Stephen said, the devil doesn't typically come up to you in a costume from Target or Walmart that has the horns and the pitchfork, and you could easily get rid of it if that was what you saw when he was coming. But he'll come in moments of isolation and thought and uh, attack you at your most vulnerable, and it won't, it won't seem like an attack. It'll just seem like, oh, well, maybe I'm the only one that's dealing yeah. with this. This is just the way it's going to be. Yeah. So but let us encourage you to find uh, some way to get involved with people that you know. Um, there's, there's good resources around. Local church is good. If you're not involved in a local church, uh, Life Church, Life.Church online. They have life groups online. Elevation Church, uh, they have EFAM uh, groups online, and they, they, they're all kinds. I mean, you know, yeah. some people are single moms, some people are singles, some people are guys that are into motorcycles and ladies that like to, uh, you know, crochet. I, don't, I mean, I don't know. I'm just, there's groups for everybody. And when you find that common ground, it's much easier to begin to develop community. So let me and let us encourage you to find some community and begin to be real with people. Absolutely. So, all right. Tomorrow, day seven, mm -hmm. make one week. Yeah. And how many more weeks to go? <laughs> well, you take 90 divided by seven and you're looking at 13 weeks roughly. Hmm. So. Okay. Five more weeks. All right. We'll see how this goes. <clears throat> and uh, you guys hang in there with us. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is, uh, there's a lot of things to talk about. And so uh, we're just going to be real. And it may come across as awkward at times. And other times it may be short. I don't know. But yeah. So six days in. 84 more to go. 84 to go. We're on our way. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys.